objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. Okay. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the Cairo network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edge Knot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. a lot of stuff to be putting on your back and take that because that's going to be a geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events he's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination no doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig until the site is properly decontaminated his work can't proceed nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some Chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. The structure oh. the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. Mm -hmm. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. BB, BB love. All right. I got you. Hello. 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 Apparently, the BB's name is Lou. Keep on keeping on. Sam. So, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCorn. <laughs> Oh, they were BT. I can't see nothing. I can't see anything. Apparently, I'm not getting up this way. They just want me to fight DP. I don't want to 
do it. Alright, so I'm going up like a super steep way. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is remove this. Go over here to this ladder. I think I put that ladder there. I don't freaking know. Let's just fight these keys in the snow. That's what, that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to fight these keys in the snow. Oh shoot. past it. happening here now why did this do that oh wait 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 go easy go easy fragile express id verified all weapons will remain locked until the parking cargo verified oh my goodness holy cannoli Appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. <sighs> I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> but hey, what am I worried about? <laughs> if you're hauling cargo this dangerous, you must know what you're doing. You 
can set up the chiral network while I work. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. Hmm? An umbilical cord? Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. So where which you is why me? I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Oh, boy. Time mission. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. This is where we're going? So it looks like I'm gonna have to put this thing on. Alright, so I got that equipped. I got this equipped. Let's go ahead and um Let's go ahead and wear. How do you put it on? Is the question to me. Alright, well that's active and that's active. Okay. Well, let's just see. Because wherever we're going right here, I think is uh, not good for us. Wait, hold on. Okay, so, alright, so it's on. Oh, look at this 
things that I already got these. Let me see. I, I have to see it. Oh my. <laughs> it really is immaculately preserved. Uncannily even. It was right there, fam. All you had to do was come on, get, get up off your couch and go like a couple of yards that way. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, oh, an no. Evodevo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable. And that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter, and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. Order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Welcome back, BB. Good to have you back. Good to have you back, Lou. 
well, I, I still call BB BB because I don't know what and why he's calling BB Lou. I don't know. I don't know what that is. We got to find these things that we're supposed to get. I like how they just kind of like eased us back into this, this BT life. Like we just, we just got eased back into the BT life. And all the stuff that I got, I probably don't need. Okay. Don't matter to me. Okay. Wait, hold on. Get how to hold breath. Alright, there you go. So you right there. I don't really gotta worry about you. You're right there. How many do I have to get? Tell me. So just one. Just one thing. Alright. Looker. Boom. <clears throat> Got it. Alright, what's the next closest one? I'm gonna go ahead and say. Right here, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose. Right, where are you? Right, Y'all two are right there. Alright, that's cool. That's so, it's cool. We, we cool. We all cool. Alright, hold my breath a little bit. <laughs> Not the prettiest, but it's gonna have to do. to be in order. You managed to bring in most of the tar. 
Mm-hmm. Never let it be said you don't deliver. Now, connect me to the chiral network. That's where my studies will truly begin. Thank you. It goes without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. After all, both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made for every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that Ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. That. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Ugh. Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. I'm sick of doing y'all's errands, man. Good work. New Honest. order available. Please Honest. access delivery terminal for further information. That's what those stupid things are. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Don't worry, I just got back. We have time. <laughs> when you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and half failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes. And there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. Oh, come on. Five, four. You said we three, had time. Two, one. I modified the log times. Oh. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. 
but I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the Death Stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The cord shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? Mm -hmm. A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? Mm -hmm. The Iceman from our five, 5,300 years Man, ago. Man, Sam knows what he's talking about. They both have the same umbilical cords. Huh? <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right. How's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord? Not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used yeah, for Why don't I get the downvote This stuff? is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, bound with strands. Which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, E's are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. 
Hicks said Amelie's an EE, that she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for EE powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death stranding. Assuming Amelie is an EE. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. Where are you going? How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. Okay. All right. I got you. On the road again. Activating lab security measures. Just can't make it on the road again. Why does he always forget that? I'm coming, Emily. <laughs> 